All right, we are live again, day two of the Black Friday sale. Today is Black Friday, the number one largest e-commerce event of the year. And so for the occasion of Black Friday, I decided to come on here, do this YouTube live Q&A. What is going on, everybody? I'm gonna wait until more people join. So right now, I'm basically doing a Black Friday live Q&A uh, from Thursday up until Sunday. So every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern. Right now, it's about 1.05. Uh, Eastern time and so uh, right now we're actually having the number one largest sale we've ever had at Econ Freedom What's going on Aaron? You literally said the same thing last time when you joined um, popcorn and I emoji, but Basically, we're having the number one sale we ever had at Econ Freedom. Uh, you can get 60% off a thousand dollars off um, the Amazon FBA and Shopify courses um, best sale ever honestly um, I mean these courses each one of them should be worth like should should cost honestly two thousand three thousand five thousand dollars. I've always in business. I've always went with the rule of like price everything ten price everything ten times less ten times less than what it's worth. And so I followed that rule ever since I started. And uh, yeah, so if you wanted to join, if you've been watching my videos, you wanted to learn every single step you need to build a successful Amazon FBA business the right way. If you want to build a long term brand, you want to learn from real guys that are actually doing it. They're in the trenches right now. Is the time for you to. Go link in the description and grab both courses, the bundle for $5.99. If you only want one of them, you can actually grab the Amazon FBA one or the Shopify one uh, for also a discount. But the bundle is obviously the best deal because you're going to be able to save the most amount of money. So if you join, let me know where you're from. I want to know where you guys are all from, what country. Take advantage of this guys this course is incredible thank you thank you diggy ivy i really appreciate that so out of everybody on this call right now who has an e-commerce business have you guys been able to start something with my uh maybe with my youtube videos maybe you you're already in the course um you know how's your black friday going for our team's brands obviously it's a big big weekend everybody's killing it making sales U.S., New Jersey, nice, nice, nice. Canada, Croatia. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention, Econ Freedom, you can join no matter where you're from. So if you're from Croatia, if you're from the United States, if you're from Texas, Mike Dutton, what's up? If you're from Egypt, doesn't matter, you can join. Uh, if you're from London, and the way that I structured the course is, you know, I always wanted the course to be applicable to everybody around the world. So, you know, even if you're from Kenya, Megas XLRs from Kenya, what's up? Never been to Africa. I really want to go to Africa one day. But... Um, we got Fahim from Pakistan. Amazing. So, yeah, essentially, the course I made it so that you know it works no matter where you're from, no matter what country you're from. Uh, there are like the way that I explain things. It's not just if you're American, um, and specifically in the Econ Freedom MBA, which you also get uh, access to as a uh, free bonus if you join Econ Freedom. In the Econ Freedom MBA, um, I actually go over uh, basically how to how to like do taxes, how to get the best business credit cards, business bank accounts, um, everything you need basically, no matter what country you're from. Gualberto asks, do I need Facebook? I'm from Rhode Island, I don't have Facebook. Um, well, you can just get Facebook. Do you have a reason why you don't have Facebook? I think everybody has Facebook um, or Meta. My bad, now it's called Meta. We've all seen that, right? <laughs> kind of a weird... Uh, Interesting change, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, watching from Pakistan, nice. Hey, it's insane. It's insane, the power of the internet. Today, literally anybody, no matter if you're from the States or you're from Pakistan, you can start a successful online business and you can make it successful and you can literally make you know thousands of dollars online. You can run this business. You don't have to be, it's not like it's, you know, before back in the day, it was really hard without the internet. You know, if you were from Pakistan, you were from a place like that, it wasn't so easy to start a business, but now you can actually, you know, start something and make it work um, and succeed no matter where you're from. Hello from Croatia. I'm already your student. Awesome. Which course are you in? Amazon or Shopify? Will you visit Croatia sometimes? Yes, for sure. Next time I go to Europe, I really want to drop by Croatia. I think that's in the, is that in the Balkans? Um, Maybe it's not the Balkans. Maybe it's west of the Balkans. But I know it's close to Italy in there, so I'm going to come down for sure. Is there another way instead of Facebook? Yeah, you don't need Facebook for um, any of it, really. Um, although I would recommend Facebook if you're going to be doing the Shopify course, if you're going to be starting a Shopify business, because you, you want to learn how to run uh, Facebook ads for Shopify. So I would recommend Facebook there for sure. What about, Sunshine Forever asks, what about delayed supply chain causing problems with delays in shipping? That's a great question. And so it is something that's going on in the world right now. But as I mentioned recently, or as I mentioned on the live yesterday, um, 
basically, you know, business is cyclical, right? So, you know, it always goes up and down. And so with these supply chain problems, it's actually the first time we've seen this in e-commerce where, yes, you know, it's causing delays for businesses. But the truth is, is that we all know that these are momentary and they're obviously going to be fixed. It's not like e it's not like the supply chain is going to get disrupted and then it's going to be ruined forever, right? I, that's not going to happen. E-commerce is the way and it's going to continue growing in the future and so right now that's why it's the absolute best time to start because you can position yourself to build a successful business and um, you know even if there is a supply chain delay obviously it's worth starting and getting going rather than just waiting you know until the perfect opportune moment to get started right so yes uh, our team we had some issues getting our q4 shipments in um, you know we ordered in june uh, like for example jeff ordered in june and then it only came in in um it only came in, I think, in October 15th or so. So, you know, just in time for Q4. No, it was supposed to come October 15th and end up coming in like at the end of October, like a few weeks late. It's no, it's no big deal. And a lot of the shipping companies, they're rerouting their uh, container ships to different ports like in Seattle and um, Houston, Texas, and in Florida, as well as in Canada. So what's better, Amazon or Shopify? Great question, Joe. This is a question I get every single day. I would say it's a matter of personal preference. They're both equally as good. You can make equally as good money doing both. Um, I would say that I prefer um, Amazon FBA to get started simply because I, when I was starting out for me, it was just, I thought it was too much to like learn Facebook ads and have to learn everything at once on, on Amazon. You can just basically, all I have to learn is how to list the product, how to rank the product on page one, how to launch it, how to run PPC. And then, you know, once you, once you do that, then, you know, once it's ranked on page one, all you have to do is basically watch so that it doesn't get out of stock. We order your inventory when that's needed, um, and then you're good. I'm in both courses, Amazon Shopify. Yes, Croatia is next to Italy, Slovenia, Serbia. Dubrovnik is maybe the best city to visit in Croatia. Awesome. Well, I'm definitely going to check it out for sure. Um, I really want to travel again. It's been some time, um, obviously, uh, you know, with what's going on in the world. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to check out Croatia. Uh, I think next May, June, July, I'm going to do a trip over to... Um, over to the classic Norway, Sweden, Finland. I always go there. I just really like Scandinavia. I have lots of friends there too. Um, and the scenery is super beautiful, super nice weather in the summer. So I'm going to go there. And then I'm also going to check out uh, Italy. I've never been to Italy, so I'm super excited. I want to go to Italy. I'm going to go to Croatia because I know I've seen pictures. It's like super nice architecture. Turquoise water, I think, in Croatia, right? Like those bays, like the, um, I don't know if they're bays or what, but like, you know, where the port is and stuff. It just looks super nice, all those bays. Um, so that's the freedom that uh, I just spat. That's the freedom that you can have if you own an e-commerce business, if you have a successful online business. I have literally been unemployed for four years. <laughs> I don't have a college degree. And uh, obviously I'm making, you know, I'm making a great amount of money where I have freedom to do anything I want and travel. So I want the same thing for you. You know, myself, you've probably been wondering why have I not been posting videos as much? And that's because honestly, for me, you, you guys see like, I have 368K subscribers, which I'm super grateful for. I've made so many videos, both on Amazon and Shopify at this point, that for me, I'm actually focused on really building up one e-commerce brand specifically. I want it, my goal is 100 million. So I wanna get it to 100 million of a worth. And then uh, that's what I've been focused on. And obviously just mentoring the students in e-commerce freedom, updating the courses. So that's what I've been focused on. That's why I haven't been making as many YouTube videos. Um, you know, cause I think that if you only make YouTube videos, like those guys that only make YouTube videos, like I had to do it a lot in the start, but I was also running my e-commerce businesses and I was also growing e-commerce freedom as well. It was very difficult. But at this point, um, I, in my own development uh, as, as an entrepreneur and as a person, I know that my goal right now is to really build a massive e-commerce brand and then, you know, show you guys it and really share, um, you know, what I've learned along the way. So uh, that is, uh, that's my focus. That's why I haven't been making enough. That's not enough, but that's why I haven't been making as many YouTube videos recently, but for important occasions like this, obviously for the Black Friday sale and to come on here and answer your, your guys' questions. Um, that's why, you know, I do this every once in a while, but I hope you guys are having an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, if you guys are going shopping, <laughs> you know, instead of spending $3,000 on, a, on like, I don't know, computers, electronics, you know, Take $599, buy Econ Freedom, make an investment in your future. If you've been watching my videos, you know that you're interested in e-commerce. Now's the time to start because, you know, right now with inflation, we all know inflation is happening. What's going on is that um, 
all the money that's being printed by governments, literally what are people doing? They're sitting at home because of the pandemic and they're literally purchasing products online on Amazon and on various Shopify stores. And so, you know, we've obviously benefited from that. All of our students have benefited from the pandemic because especially those people that got into Econ Freedom before, you know, <laughs> we've all been killing it because e-commerce has just absolutely exploded. I got into e-commerce in 2017. I didn't even know that. No one knew that there was going to be a, the pandemic. And then the pandemic happened and suddenly everybody in the whole world knows about Amazon and Shopify. Their stocks blew up, right? So obviously, you know, it's something that's really, it's in my opinion, the best business you can start if you are, um, if you want an online business, you want to travel the world. I think that there literally is nothing else that compares. Unless you suggest something. Like I think, I, I believe me, I've tried everything when I started in 2017 and there wasn't anything that compared. Why don't you invest money in crypto? Do you hate crypto? I don't hate crypto. I think that crypto is part of the future. I don't think that it's exclusively the future. And I think that there is like definite use cases in crypto. I just think that if you're asking, let's say for a person, for most people investing in crypto, they're speculating. And I think that they would be much rather, they'd be much better off um, investing the money in themselves, taking a quality course like Econ Freedom, which, you know, we have over 15,000 members. We've been in the game for long enough where we have established a good reputation. And, you know, if they invest that money in Econ Freedom and they like, you know, rather than putting 10, rather than putting $3,000 into Bitcoin and hoping it goes up, they invest the money in Econ Freedom and then they learn, follow the steps, build a business that they actually have control over. One of my favorite books that I've ever read, The Millionaire Fastlane by MJ DeMarco, which I highly recommend. I think I've gotten MJ, MJ, if you're watching this, I've, got, I've gotten you so many sales on that book. I've literally been like the number one affiliate for that. Um, <laughs> but... What he says in that book is that you want to have control over whatever you're investing in. And so with cryptocurrency, if I put in $5,000 in crypto, I don't have control over it. Just like with stocks, like I can't control, okay, let's say my $5,000, you know, it goes down to 3K now in value. I can't work harder to make that go up. You know what I mean? Like with my business though, if my business starts, starts uh, suffering, I can work harder and I can take, um, responsibility for that and I can be like okay you know what I'm going to sit down and I'm going to fix what's broken here and I'm going to work harder to make this successful and so that's why I prefer online business that's why I prefer investing into things that uh, I have control over basically and that's why I think that for you guys as well you're watching my videos obviously you're interested in e-commerce and you're interested in achieving freedom that's why I think that uh, it's a no-brainer it is a no-brainer to invest in uh, in yourself rather than in cryptocurrency or things that are out of your control <clears throat> How does the mentorship work? Great question, Ketan. So basically, you have unlimited one-on-one -on -one Facebook mentorship with um, with the mentors in Shopify and Amazon. So in Shopify, we got Josh, we got McKay, and then in Amazon, we got Andrew and we got Jeff. And so these guys, they actually all learned from me. They, they were members in Econ Freedom and then they became mentors when I was like looking to expand the team. They're doing six, seven figures with their own brands. Um, Andrew, Andrew and... Uh, Josh, they're doing 1 million plus uh, in revenue on their brands. And then Jeff and McKay are doing six figures, multiple six figures. So uh, you basically can w message them one-on-one -on -one anytime for life. Um, there's no extra charge for that. It's part of the bundle, which link for, is down below for the Black Friday bundle. This deal will end on Sunday night, guys. So make sure you grab it while you can, because I have so I always have people that message me after the deal is over. They're emailing me and they're like, Dan, I missed the deal. Can you extend the deal? You know, and like, we're not going to extend it because... You know, it's already good enough as it is. So that's why you just want to get in. You know, if you're, if you're thinking about it, make the jump. We have a refund policy. If you if you launch a product and you follow the course and you fail, like you're just not happy, you can uh, reach out to our support and then you can just, you know, submit a screenshot telling the, your story, being like, hey, you know, I launched the product, I followed the course and it didn't work. We'll refund you your money, no problem. Because we don't want to take your money if you didn't succeed. <clears throat> How much money I need to invest in Shopify for starting? I would say realistically, uh, the way that I teach it, and I don't teach, I teach like drop shipping is a, is a part of beginning it. So it's a part of starting, but I would say that um, drop shipping is not a long-term solution that you can't really build a, a brand with just drop shipping. And so that's why I would recommend for Shopify, have at least one to $2,000 um, ready. Hi, Dan, I'm from France. Do you have any mentor in the course who speaks French? I speak French, so... Um, you know, I guess you can message me on, on Facebook and, or on Instagram and message me on Instagram. If you join, you can message me on Instagram DM and I'll answer in French. 
Although the course itself is in English, then just be warned. So you can slow down when I talk if it's too quick. There's always there's like a speed on the bottom right, so you can slow that down. But um, yeah, so, but I speak French fluently, so I can always help you there. Um, how much money is needed on average to start a long-term online business? I would say one to two thousand dollars minimum. Um, I'm not going to you know stand here and tell you you can get started with three hundred, four hundred dollars. Yes, with dropshipping theoretically you can. But you know you have all these costs that add up, right? So you got your Shopify plan, you got your software, you got your ads, and so especially your ads. If you don't know what you're doing, they can get out of, they can get out of control really quickly. So that's why if I'm just being realistic, it's going to be one to two thousand dollars minimum. And for Amazon, closer to three, three point five, four. Look, I started with eighteen hundred dollars for Amazon, and I turned that into thirty two k a month in twenty seventeen. This is possible. So that's why it's hard to give a very specific number. That's why I always give a ballpark and it's, and it's a realistic ballpark. It is like not some random number I pulled out of my, you know, out of my ass for a lack of a better word. Hey Dan, I have a 120,000 follower network. On, by the way, guys, ask me any questions about anything entrepreneurship. If you're you know struggling with getting your business started, um, mindset issues, let's go, let's talk about it. I'm here to, to, to help you guys. You know, it's, it's been a little bit since I've done these lives, but obviously for the occasion of Black Friday, because I want to talk about this crazy deal that we're having, literally the best investment of your life. I promise to you. There's a reason why I'm the, one of the only e-commerce YouTubers left from when I started four years ago. Um, you know, I haven't launched a million courses on every single possible business model. I stuck to what I know best e-commerce because I see that's the most potential in, and that's what changed my life the most. Um, what, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, okay. So, hey, Dan, I have a 120,000 follower network on Instagram. I have about $3,000. My goal is to make $20,000 by the end of the year. I can't find a winning product for my store. Okay, so if you have a 100, if you have 120,000 followers on Instagram and you have $3,000, you're in the perfect position to launch a store that would cater to those followers. So think about what are those followers interested in? Are they interested in, I don't know, pets? Are they interested in uh, beauty? So what niche? And then... What you want to do is you want to find a product within that, within that niche um, to you know basically create a store out of. You don't want to launch a random trending product and then just advertise it to your followers because first of all, your followers will not be interested in, so you're not going to have a high conversion rate. And number two, they're going to unfollow you because they'll feel disrespected. Like, why are you, followers will feel used. You know what I mean? People aren't dumb and they, they can see when influencers are trying to cash in with like dumb products. So I would say just really think about it. How do you deal with anxiety? Honestly, I would say just balance in your life. Make sure that uh, you know, you're not always working and make sure that you're taking everything day by day and you don't worry about tomorrow too much. Just focus on today. Focus on what you have to do right now. You know, I have so many things in my life. I'm not focused right now on like, oh, you know, what I have to do next year in January and February and March. Like I know, but if I think about that, obviously you get anxiety. So I would say just worry about today. There's actually a quote in the Bible. It's like, don't... Don't fret about tomorrow, something like that, I don't know. But like, basically just worry about what's right in front of you. And that's actually the best way to get to a goal. So um, basically, if you set a goal for yourself, okay, I wanna make you know, $100,000 with my online business, don't think about what you have to do in three months, just think about what you have to do right now today. So for me, for example, all I'm thinking about is being on this live for you. I'm not thinking about what happens after. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing tomorrow, Sunday. I don't know, those don't exist for me. I'm just, think we're, I'm just thinking about right now, you know, being present in this moment and answering your questions and making sure that you guys come out of this, um, you know, with a better idea of where you guys should go. And for those of you that join Ecom Freedom, that you guys are set up to succeed, which you guys are if you join. It's like literally the best thing that you can do. $1,000 off, 60% off, crazy sale, get both courses. Link is down below. Do you think Amazon is too saturated now or is it still a good option to opt as a career? I would say... You know, the, 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 interesting thing, the interesting thing about Amazon is that when I started with um, Amazon FBA, even back in 2017, I remember I was Googling and literally there were people um, talking about how it was too saturated, how e-commerce, it's too late to start. You should have started in 2012. Can you imagine people were saying that in 2017? Uh, so that just shows you that people will always say that there's always going to be people that are, you know, the naysayers and they're always going to try to discourage others from succeeding. I would say, no, it's not too saturated. If you know what you're doing, if you're in Econ Freedom, you'll know how to actually start. Um, <clears throat> you'll know how to actually start like a brand that will sell a high quality product. 
and um, you'll know what you have to do so that you stand out from the competitions that you rise above and you don't just copy and paste stuff from Alibaba, from whatever. Marielle says, the course is legendary, no BS. Hey Dan, I'm currently your Amazon course. Just want to know your thoughts on selling solar panel things. Um, so I think that um, solar panel things, interesting. I would say, so in the course we have it, like you can submit your product for a product check from our mentors. I would say definitely submit it with like a little plan of what you want to do for your brand. But obviously renewable energy is something that's growing. And I would say that, you know, if they're accessories for solar panels, maybe like cleaning solar panels, obviously I know that that's something you got to do with solar panels. I would say, yeah, why not? Like, look, the, the, the beautiful thing about Amazon and about online business is that you can see how much money products are making. So with Jungle Scout, you can see how much money products on Amazon are already making. It's not like before 10, 20 years ago, it was a shot in the dark. You know, you're launching a product, you're starting a store and you have no idea um, how much anything is making, right? So that's why I think, that's why again, I think that uh, I think that that e-commerce is really great because you can literally the way that we showed in the course, the way that I show it, I show you how to see exactly how much a product that you're thinking of launching is making on Amazon or on uh, Shopify. Right on Shopify, it's a little harder. There's nothing like Jungle Scout because there's no actual way of like seeing okay how much is this website making. So it's more of an estimate. It's kind of more like okay, yeah, they're definitely big. They're making money or you know, this store is not making money. You can see that with the Alexa site rank. Um, but yeah. Do you choose products for us? How does it work? No. So uh, if uh, the reason why we don't do that is because uh, I think that that's not a good way of learning. You then that means we create dependence. So you would be dependent on us for your success. And you know, what if, you know, you're no longer a member in the future? I don't know, even though you get lifetime access. I'm just saying, so to speak, it's best. I find it's best to, what's the saying? Instead of catching a fish for a man, teach the man to fish. <laughs> yeah, I butchered it, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, it's better to, you know, basically in the courses we teach you how to fish. We don't catch the fish for you. Um, you have to learn how to do that yourself. And that way you're more confident. You gain something called financial confidence. Once you build a successful business and you do this long enough, you gain financial confidence. And that is an, no, like one of the best feelings in the world because you're never worried about paying your bills. You're never worried about not having enough money, being in debt. Why? Because you know that, okay, if you want to buy a new car and you want to finance it, let's say $500 a month is the car payment. I know that if I want to do that, I can launch another Amazon product that is going to, all I have to, all it has to make is about one to $2,000 a month in profit. And you know, then you, obviously you can afford your car payment, right? And so one to 2K a month would be like four to 5K a month in revenue. And then you're really safe then you can afford that. So that's how somebody with financial confidence thinks. You know, they think about, uh, okay, what do I have to do to be able to afford this expense? You need to drop more book recommendations. Honestly, I have tons of books um, here. Let me see what I can recommend to you guys. Honestly, I have like a thousand books in my apartment. I've always wanted a library. I think that, um, I told this to my friend, I think that a good way to judge or one way to judge the quality of a human being or a person is, is by the amount of books they have in their house. That's what I think. Um, for really, for helping with like uh, abundant thoughts and stuff, I really recommend The Science of Getting Rich. This is a really great book um, by Wallace D. Wallace. It's not too big, but I find that it's um, so, something very difficult is when you're just starting out and you get those negative thoughts that keep coming in, you know, like, ah, I won't be able to do it. What if I fail? All these things. And so that's why with this book and books like this, um, they really help you realize like all, it just helps you get rid of all those negative thoughts. It helps you get rid of, um, you know, all those, all, all those thoughts that prevent you from actually moving forward because your thoughts are what create your future. So you have to make sure that you're always thinking positively, no matter what is happening right now. Man, you are awesome. Thanks, Neil. You too. I'm literally trying to buy the course. You keep skip over, skipping over my key questions. What are you, is your question? What strategy are you teaching in the current course? Brand the dropshipping, US Fulman Centers, FB, Tech Talk, Glads. Yeah, okay. So um, I'm assuming you're asking about the, the Shopify. Yes, Thinking Grow Rich, great book. That's a classic. Although, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill, I think, is much better. It's really deep. If you read that, one thing you're going to learn is. Um, uh, you need to be single-minded and you can't be pursuing three, four different businesses at once. That's a sure recipe for failure. How much is the course? Amazon, right now you can get both of them for $5.99, 60% off. 
a thousand dollars off because each one of them individually right after the sale usually one to two K each and they're going to go up to that so you know if you want to get the course now is the time <clears throat> Arlen says, what strategy are you teaching in the current course? Right, yeah. So uh, you're talking about the Shopify course. So in there, it's a mix of branded dropshipping with bulk orders. So basically, I teach how to actually start a successful e-commerce brand, not just a store that's going to last for three, four months. And um, right now in the course, uh, there's a huge, huge models, modules on Facebook ads. Uh, there's some on influencers. Uh, well, there's an entire influencer module. But right now for the Shopify course, I'm actually working on the box set. So on the um, new course. And that's going to be out by the end of the year. You're going to have access to that. So you have everything in the current Shopify course to get started. You can start finding products today if you join and you can really start going. Um, but uh, I've been, I'm working on the 2021-2022 edition right now. And we're going to automatically update the course. You're going to see it in the course uh, once that's out. And so that's going to have everything, literally 100 plus videos on fulfillment centers, the best fulfillment centers, how to like fulfill it. Should you fulfill it from your house? Should you use a fulfillment center? Should you use Amazon? Um, then also like uh, negotiation with suppliers, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google ads, organic methods, Pinterest, everything. Everything is going to be there. So what is your take on reality trans surfing? How did it help in your journey? Honestly, I think reality trans surfing is, a, is, is an interesting theory of the world. Although I prefer um, like the law of attraction. It's just much simpler. Uh, the law of attraction is more like, okay, if you desire, you believe that you're going to achieve and then you achieve, it's just much simpler rather than, rather than, you know, in reality, trans surfing, it's all about like, it's, it just gets too complicated. It's very esoteric, I think is the, is the word. It's a little bit in the clouds. And I think it's a good book, but honestly, I felt even more confused after reading it sometimes. And I, and I don't, I just, I just think that the secret and thinking grow rich is just a much simpler view where, you know, all you, all you need is you need to desire and you need to believe that you can achieve and you need to really think about it, like visualize your life every single day as if you've already, you already have that online business. You already have a successful Amazon or Shopify business, you know, making you 100K plus a year in profit, 200, 300K. So, and then eventually you will achieve it as long as you don't let in any conflicting thoughts and as long as you truly, truly believe that you can achieve it. And something that helps with, with that a lot, it's like for me, one big reason that I even started e-commerce before that I was like, I don't know how to do any of this. Like, how am I going to, how am I going to do this? And so one thing that helped me was the fact that I saw a 21 year old at the time I was 21. I saw a 21 year old guy and he was like driving around a Lamborghini. His name was Tanner J. Fox. Maybe you know, maybe you've known him if you've been around back in those 2017 YouTube days and e-commerce days. He was like one of the original Amazon course creators. I don't know what happened to him. I hope he's well, but um, you know, I was watching and I'm like, holy crap, this guy literally started Amazon FBA, dropped out of school and, you know, he's able to afford a Lamborghini at 21 years old. You know, for me, I never really cared about a Lamborghini, but just that's still impressive, you know, at 21 and he bought it like, I don't know if he bought it in cash or, or if he financed it or whatever, but you know, uh, the point is, is that I saw he was able to do it and he was literally like a gym bro. And at the time I was a gym bro, like he would literally just make videos with the tank top. And so I saw that and I saw myself in him. And I'm like, if he can do it, I can do it. And so I think that for you guys watching those videos, obviously, you know, you know, I've done it. I'm telling you, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm nobody that's like super special. Um, yes, I'm smart, but you know what I mean? I think that you don't need to have incredible Albert Einstein intelligence to build a successful e-commerce business. You know, I've seen thousands of people with successful businesses in e-com freedom and for my YouTube videos, like millions of views I have on my YouTube. So you can do it too. And I think one great way is to watch the success stories that I have on my channel, watch the success stories on the sales page for the um, Econ Freedom uh, Black Friday bundle down below. So you can check that out and you'll be able to connect with those people and you'll, maybe you'll find, you know, uh, a girl like Morgan, uh, she built a successful Shopify business. I think she uh, is making, I don't know, six figures, something like that, 30, 40 K a month. Right. And so, you know, you see yourself in someone that has already done it and you're like, wow, that's, this person is literally me. And all they did was they started, they joined the course, they followed the steps, they committed to success and they um, were able to do this. So I think that's really the key is to see that you can do it and to have the confidence that, um, you know, you see, you see somebody who like is literally you uh, from before, or like you see, you kind of relate to that person and then you just, that, that gives you that confidence that you can do it too. Can you post your book list on Instagram and start a book club possibly? Honestly, that's not a bad, bad idea. Who wants a book club, a Dan Vass book club? <laughs> I have so many books. I love reading books. It's an amazing, amazing uh, thing just to be able to absorb all that knowledge. Through books, you can literally live 
a hundred lifetimes in one, you know, because every time, especially if you get a biography, you're literally living someone else's lifetime in the span of, you know, a week, two weeks, however long it takes you to read that book. And you learn all of those lessons that have allowed them to succeed. There is no better way to succeed than following in the footsteps of those that have come before you, right? Do you teach Facebook ads in the Shopify uh, course? How much do you cover Facebook ads in the course? Yes, actually the module in the Shopify course is called uh, the greatest Facebook ads module, uh, the greatest Facebook ads Shopify module in the world. And uh, <laughs> I really, really, I, I always thought that Facebook ads was one of the hardest things to master with Shopify because it's like, it's pretty intimidating. You know, you can launch your ads and if you don't know what you're doing as a beginner, like you'll lose a lot of money. I literally had to spend $600,000 before um, I really like really, you know, nailed it and really understood, okay, this is how it works. This is what I need to do to be profitable. And so, you know, now it comes easy for me, but just like anything, you have to start, you have to have that courage. And that's why being part of Shopify Freedom, me comforting Shopify and uh, getting mentored by guys like Josh, guys like McKay who are running Facebook ads every day. Josh is literally spending, I have to ask him, but I know he's spending like $3,000 on ads a day. So anybody who's spending 3K a day on ads is obviously killing it, knows what they're talking about. And he learned from me. He, he started in the Shopify uh, Ecom Freedom Shopify course. I'm actually going to, uh, when I'm launching, when I'm going to launch this new brand that I'm focused on that I mentioned, uh, I'm focused on this um, the new brand, which I'm going to talk about. I've talked about a little bit in the past in my videos, but it's really going to take off in 2022. I'm going to be launching Facebook ads for that. I'm super excited. And I know that I'm going to have to spend like three, four, five thousand dollars a day, but I, I'm confident because I've spent millions of dollars in ads in the past few years on various e-commerce products. So, you know, I'm not even like for me, it's just like, yeah, cool, you know? Well, look, one, two, three K, let's scale it to 10 K a day. And that's the confidence that you get once you actually have gone through this journey. Once you've actually built a successful business. I just got this water filter. I'm in Arizona. And I just got this water filter installed and it's literally, the water is incredible. Like for Arizona tap water, it's really bad. You know, in Canada, we have better tap water, especially no, no, the best tap water is in Norway, Sweden, and Finland. I don't know why, but. There's no chlorine, nothing, but I just got this filter installed. I'm loving it. It's amazing. How many e-commerce businesses, whoops, how many e-commerce businesses did you have to launch before succeeding? Two products and then the third one I succeeded um, for my Amazon business in 2017. Sarah Muhammad, yes, please start the Dan Vass Book Club. Your book recommendations are amazing. Start January 1st. Okay, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. But like, how would the book club work? So, okay, I would make my recommendations. And then what, I guess we would have to like, I guess it would be like a call that we would do and then we would get on and we would just share what we think, right? What we, uh, what we learned in the books. I mean, that could be something, but I have so much on my plate. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the calls and stuff like that. And if it's just the Facebook group, then, you know, uh, I think that's a little boring, but if you have an idea, if you have any ideas of, for this book club, I think it would be cool. What are your top students doing right now as far as profit? Well, my top, some of my top students are our mentors in Econ Freedom that you would get access to if you join the Black Friday bundle deal uh, by clicking the link down below for $5.99. So Josh McKay, those two mentors, Josh is, it's, I posted their numbers on the page. I posted their actual revenue numbers, their sales numbers on the page. For profit, it's about 40%. You could just assume that it's 40%. Obviously, if someone's making, if Josh is making 2.4 million a year in uh, revenue, he's not making $0 in profit, <laughs> obviously. He's not a YouTuber. He doesn't have any incentive to lie about his revenue, right? So these guys that learned from Econ Freedom, they were members of this exact course. They're killing it. Like they are making, like on top of obviously, you know, what uh, I'm paying them to be mentors in Econ Freedom because obviously they're on a salary plus there's some profit share there too. Like it's not just me now. It's, Econ Freedom is not just me. It's much more than me. Um, we all have like a share in the business. So, yeah. But you can assume it's about 40%. So Josh would be doing over a million in profit a year. Um, who else we have? Josh, uh, McKay is, I think McKay is doing 30, 50 K a month. So it's about 40%. He's so doing about 15, 20 K a month in profit, I think. So 40%. How close are you to becoming a billionaire? Far away, far away, far away. But am I confident that I will become a billionaire? I think so. Yeah. I think that it's not for me. It's not about the billionaire. It's just like business is my sport. And when business is your sport, you have those milestones. So build a $100 million e-commerce brand. That's my next goal. And then after that, you want to scale it to 500 million and then a billion, you know, then at that point I would be a billionaire. For me, it's not about, it's not about like being a billionaire and flexing and 
nothing like that. Honestly, it's just like if you're a basketball player or if you're an Olympian, right? You want to go for gold and you rank yourself and you judge yourself based on how many gold medals you've won. It's the same thing, but in business, it's money and it's those figures. So like I, when I'm a billionaire, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be chilling on a yacht. Like I really have everything that I want in my life right now. I think the only things I would be doing, I would just have more... I don't know, I'd be like, I'd have my own little plane. I'd be flying around in my plane because I, I, you know, I love flying around for fun. Like I'm studying, um, I, I'm learning my, I'm getting my pilot's license right now. If you checked out my Instagram recently, I was actually flying in Hawaii and it was beautiful. Um, landed, took off five times myself. So that was cool. And uh, let me tell you, if I wasn't making the money that I'm making, um, I wouldn't be able to do things like that. I would not be able to get my pilot's license. That costs a lot of money, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, probably a hundred K by the time I'm done. So that's actually, you know, a little story about me is when I was 18, I actually wanted to become a pilot, but because it cost a hundred thousand dollars to get the training and go to university, that's how much like the, the cost was. I was like, there's no way I can afford this. There's no way I'm going to take out a loan for this. I'm going to be spending my entire life paying this off. And so I didn't do it. And so I decided, you know what? I'm just going to start a business, find a way to make money instead, and then get my pilot's licenses. I'm going to find a way to get rich instead. And then, you know, uh, get that on the, get that on the side. And so that's exactly what I'm doing now. Now that I have a successful business that I'm now that I'm at a, at a very good financial position in my life. Um, you know, now I'm like, uh, getting my pilot training and doing all that. So that's something that you can do as well when you have the freedom, when you have that financial abundance, right? What are you doing in Arizona? I love Arizona. It's really nice. The weather's beautiful. It's sunny every day. It's, you know, uh, it's in the, right now I think it's in the 80s, 70s, 80s Fahrenheit. So in the 20s, 30s. And that's great weather. I like it. But I do miss the winter and I do some, especially right now, like I really want to experience like a white Christmas, which I'm going to. I'm going to be back in Canada um, to uh, to study for my for my pilot's license. Or no, I'm going to be back in Canada, not for my pilot's license. I was reading someone's comment. I'm going to be back in Canada to be spending Christmas with my family and stuff. So I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a, I've always said I'm like a world, a very worldwide person. I like if I'm in one place too long, I'm like, nah, I need to, I need to keep moving. You know what I mean? So I have a home base here in Arizona, but you know, I'm looking forward to traveling. I think in the spring, I'm going to really work my ass off until next spring on my e-commerce brand. Uh, the, the food brand that I'm launching, it's going to be a food brand. Uh, and it's going to be sold on Amazon and it's going to be snacks. You guys will see what, what, it, what it is because I'm really confident in it. And um, all the e-commerce skills that I've learned to this day from all my uh, e-commerce products that I've launched, I'm going to be putting in this and it's going to succeed. I know it. So, but in May, June, July, and in, uh, in, in the spring coming up, I'm going to be uh, traveling. I'm going to be going to Europe and I'm going to be probably big trip, probably Iceland, um, France, Italy, Finland, Sweden, Norway. Go visit Prescott, Quaint and get snow in the winter. I will for sure have my motorcycle here. I haven't been on it too much recently. I've just been working a lot, but I think I'm gonna ride out there. How is the weather? Uh, get snow, if it's if there's snow on the road in Prescott, it'd be interesting on a motorcycle. I'm fluent in Japanese. I wanna be doing Amazon FBA in Japan as one angle in my business as a course deal with unique issues in countries like that. Yes, well, so the course works for Amazon FBA no, no matter if you're in Japan, no matter if you're doing Amazon even like in China, anywhere, right? So the, the concepts are the same, the steps are the same. Uh, in Japan, the only differences would just be the language, which you already know if you speak it fluently, and just your marketing. You know how to market to Japanese people because obviously, um, you know, you speak Japanese, so. Ironically, I'm an airline captain, 32 years of experience. I lost my job because of the pandemic. I'm looking for e-commerce to completely change my life. That's, see, that's the thing. Like, I knew that if I was gonna study to become a pilot, not only would I put myself $100,000 in debt for the love of flying, I would, if a, if a pan, no one thought about pandemics back then, right? But if a pandemic did happen or anything like that, any, um, what do you call it? You know, any kind of event like that, I would be screwed. And so, you know, that's why I decided, you know what? I'm gonna pursue financial freedom. I'm gonna pursue abundance. And with my own money, I'm gonna fly for fun because you guys know, you know, if you love something and then you make that your job, a lot of the times people begin to hate that thing because now you're not doing it for fun. You're forced to do it. You're forced to wake up in the morning and do it every single day. And that's not um, something that, you know, everybody wants. So, yeah. Does anything give you anxiety? I deal with that. Well, we all have anxiety. I mean, we all have, 
you know, healthy, uh, healthy levels of anxiety, I think that that's fine. If you have a lot of it, I would say really look into, you know, get a blood test, make sure that uh, all your levels for your vitamins and nutrients is, is all good. You know, try meditation, uh, try to do some yoga. You know, one big cause of anxiety is being stuck in a place with lots of noise, I think. And so just try going out into more into nature, maybe move uh, further away, take a trip into the outdoors. It'll calm you down. It'll reconnect with nature. You know, at least that's what I need. I know that for me, um, I have to, you know, either go on a hike or something or I have to, you know, stay in a cabin. Like one thing that I would uh, love to do right now actually would be to just like go alone, stay in a cabin in Iceland and just chill and just read books. Like that just sounds amazing to me. You know what I mean? Um, so I mean, this is something that I can do, but right now, obviously I have other priorities like working on my businesses, making sure that you guys are getting the mentorship that you need and, uh, growing my e-commerce brand, the one that I talked about, which I'm going to reveal in 2022, because at that moment it's going to be in grocery stores and we're going to be selling online on Amazon and Shopify. Hi Dan, how can we make visualization more effective? Yes. So this is what I do for visualization. When I wake up in the morning, I sit down and I read my affirmations five times. I used to do 10 times, it's a little bit excessive, but five times and you really have to put emotion into it and feel it. And then after I do that, I sit down and I close my eyes and I visualize those affirmations and, I'm, and I visualize my dream life and I like, and you play music. So I, I have like a little visualization playlist and I play music and you have to really, I don't know if you guys get this, but when I listen to music and it's really, really, it just hits, I get goosebumps. You know, and I don't know if everybody gets this, but when I get those goosebumps, it's, it's just like this wave of emotion. And if, if you channel that into your visualization, I find that it really, it helps manifest it because you tie those positive emotions with your visualization and it just helps bring it to life much quicker, right? Your strategy to read a book with maximum retention. Great question. I would say, so the, the way I read a book is when I start, okay, I look at the front cover, cool. I look at the, I read the back, um, no speed reading. I don't do speed reading. I think that that's, that, that ruins the purpose of like reading. I think that you want to enjoy reading. You don't want to do it. So just to get through it as fast as possible, just get through a thousand books. You're not going to retain anything because your mind only retains information when you're actually interested in the content and you're enjoying yourself, right? We live our best lives when, when, when we're enjoying ourselves, right? So the way I do it is scan the front, read the back, read the table of contents. And then as I'm reading, I underline with a pencil um, the, you know, the, 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 the interesting passages. And then I also write in the book a lot. So I use a pen. I, sometimes I use a highlighter. If it's more of a technical book, like more of a business book, I wouldn't use a highlighter for this maybe. But, um, and then I also use Evernote. So I have, uh, you know, Evernote, great app. You can install it and it's cloud-based. So whenever you put your notes into Evernote, you can share it across your devices. And so on Evernote, uh, basically I write down those lessons that come out to me. And literally I have a million dollar Evernote. I know that I can sell my Evernote for a million bucks today because I have like 500 books, 500 uh, books, notes, notes of books in my Evernote um, from the past four years. Like I read, and, and one thing for me, my talent is that I read fast naturally, but I have to be focused and I have to, you know, really pay attention. Um, so yeah, that's how you read a book with maximum uh, retention. You want to enjoy it. You want to enjoy your life. You don't want to force yourself to do things. Sometimes you got you to gotta force yourself to uh, work and stuff, especially when you're starting out with your business. Yes, like a lot of business success comes down to uh, doing things we don't want to do that will move us forward. But, uh, and, that's, and that's necessary. But at the same time, you know, look, you don't have to love e-commerce. Like I don't absolutely love e-commerce. I really enjoy doing it. I think that what is a much better... Um, I guess a much better way to succeed is to not absolutely love, you know, like you don't have to necessarily love e-commerce. You don't have to necessarily love your product, but you love the fact that it puts money into your bank account and you love the fact that it is bringing you success every day. And it's kind of like a game. You almost kind of gamify your business success in your life. And then that really, you know, it's kind of almost like monopoly and stuff, right? Do the, do the book club, please. You don't have to do the live. Just post the book you're reading. We'll come in your IG or F Facebook for opinions. Okay, honestly, guys, who wants a book club? Who wants a book club? If anybody here wants a book club, I'll start a Facebook group and I'll start posting in the book club, like the books that I'm reading. 
And I'll also, I think it would be a great thing for me as well, because then I can post like the, the lessons that I've learned from the book and that would help me retain that as well. Um, and then you guys can, can also learn from that. You guys can, I have really good book recommendations. I'm not going to lie. So for those of you on here right now, we're hosting our biggest Black Friday sale. We're hosting our biggest sale ever, ever, ever. You can get both of our flagship Amazon FBA Shopify courses for $599 for the occasion of Black Friday. Uh, it's down there for the link. You guys already know. And once you join, you will see your life will change. Like you will see how good these courses are. You will see how many, like just how much you get for the money, the, <clears throat> the level of mentorship. Like how else are you, literally how else is someone going to get access to million dollar e-commerce sellers? How are you going to go and meet them, right? And so for the price of $5.99, you literally get direct access on Facebook like a friend to Josh, to McKay for Shopify and to Andrew and Jeff. And they, you can ask them questions. You can ask them about, you know, their business. It's, it's insane. Like for $5.99, you know, and how much I was in Vegas in May and it, Vegas was packed and I was seeing people. I rode out there on my motorcycle. I put 5k on, on black and I won uh, double is very interesting. But um, there were people there that were literally just gambling like thousands and thousands of dollars. And I'm like, man, if they, if they put this money into their own business and if they took it seriously, they wouldn't have to be sitting in Vegas gambling on slot machines. I don't know. Maybe they were doing it for fun, but anyway, for me, that was just an excuse to ride my motorcycle to Vegas. <laughs> it was cool. Um, how do you find motivation to work? Uh, I write down my goals every day and remind myself, you gotta, you gotta have a strong why. And so for me at this point, it's, I have like, I have my strong why, there, there are multiple whys, you know? And uh, I just find it fun. When you work for yourself and your own business, you just find it fun at a certain point. Any advice on dropshipping in 2021? Yes, it's not a long-term business model, but it's good just when you're, um, you know, as a way of getting started, if you have a very low budget. So if you only have $300, you know, and you're joining, let's say you take advantage of the Black Friday deal for Econ Freedom and you join, um, you know, basically it's good just to get started because you don't have to order any product inventory, but you can't build a long-term business just drop shipping because with drop shipping, you're not gonna be able to get your logo on the product. You're not gonna be able to get fast shipping. Like no one wants to wait three weeks for a product. And so that's why the way that I teach, the way that we teach in Econ Freedom is the long-term way of building an e-commerce business. It's how the big guys are building businesses, how I'm building my e-commerce business that I'm gonna grow to $100 million. Like I will grow this food business to $100 million in the United States and Canada. I know for a fact, I know for a fact. And so, um, yeah. So, so dropshipping is, is decent to get started if you have under a thousand or a thousand five hundred dollars. If you have above that money, I would not do dropshipping. In the course, I show how to do bulk orders and start off with private labeling with product improvement. And so that's a much better way of, uh, of starting out. Okay, good guys, I'm going to do the book club. I think I'm going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Facebook group and then I'm going to go do a live probably next week just to, um, you know, announce the book club and then basically get everybody, you know, in the book club. Maybe I'll make it exclusive to Econ Freedom members. I don't know. Cause if you don't have, look, we can do book club and stuff, but if you don't have uh, an actual step-by-step -step process to building a business, like, yeah, you can read all the books in the world, but if you're trying to figure it all out for free from your, the YouTube videos, you're just doing yourself a disservice, honestly. Um, but I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I just want to have like quality people that are committed to their success and I want people that we're not just reading books, but we're all becoming successful entrepreneurs. I already am, obviously, but you guys are as well. Man, I'm torn. I don't know which one to get. Won't be both because I need to focus on what to start. Um, it's up to you. It's up to you, really. But if you do get both, if you get the bundle, then every single e-commerce business, once you scale past six figures, you're going to want to have presence on both Amazon and Shopify. And so, and, and the reason for that is just simply to get more sales and mitigate your risk. So I would say just... Getting the bundle is your best bet. You don't have to do both at the same time. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do the book club. Don't you worry. How is the metaverse going to impact the platform market? Guys, guys, metaverse, this is like so far off. This is like 20 years off minimum. Like no one's going to be living their life in VR until like 2040. Okay, 2045. So don't worry about this. Don't listen to the news so much. Um, I think Facebook is just, you know, they realize that their ad platform is a little bit broken because of iOS 14, which by the way, we teach how to avoid that. Uh, we teach how to make sure your tracking is on point for your e-commerce business if it's Shopify. Um, and especially Josh, I mean, me and Josh have a lot of experience, but especially Josh, he was gonna be helping you one-on-one -on -one with that. Um, so that's why I think that, uh, I think Zuckerberg realized, oh God, <laughs> my ad platform is broken, what do I do? And so that's why they, they pivoted and they changed the focus of their business. I think that's what it was. And so it's just a marketing thing really right now. 
Um, Sarah Muhammad just joined the membership. Awesome. Welcome, Sarah. We had so far over 150 people take advantage of the Black Friday bundle. Um, and, uh, you know, they're all introducing themselves in the, in the community. So as soon as you join, make sure you make a, do a welcome post in there. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see you in there. This is literally the deal of a lifetime. There's no better way to, um, secure your future, secure your success, than join econ freedom and get access to not only mentorship, but you know, the best step-by-step -step process in the whole game. Um, do you think being obsessed with dropshipping is a good thing? Like working 16 hours a day? I think 16 is a little excessive, but I think at the beginning of your business journey, for sure, I think that um, you need to work hard and you need to make sure that uh, you know you are getting everything done and, and really prioritizing things. Like you can't be chilling with your homies at the beginning. You can't be just like you know going out, uh, clubbing, whatever. Like you have to focus. You know until you reach that first goal of your business, until you have a first successful product, don't even think about anything else. Maybe the gym, that's fine, and like you know eat healthy. But like other than that, you need to focus. So. Anyway, guys, Black Friday bundle down below. Uh, how the mentorship works, I explained it earlier, but basically get one-on-one -on -one access to, um, to uh, mentors. So, uh, and these guys are Econ Freedom members and also like they started Econ Freedom and they built their businesses to six, seven figures a year. I posted their current numbers right now, Black Friday numbers on the sales page. You can find that down below. What is that thing in your background that keeps changing and showing your name? Oh, that's a, um, oh, it's a Wi-Fi clock. It's like a, it's like a clock that shows your, my YouTube subscribers. For some reason at like 6, 7 p.m. it turns off. I'm not sure why it turns off. Um, like it, it switches to just like the time. And then in the day it actually shows my subscribers. I don't know, maybe there's a built-in feature or something, but that's what it is. I just found it on Amazon. It's actually the only clock I found that will show YouTube subscribers that way. And that's why it's super overpriced. It's like $175. And I don't think it's worth that much, but it is kind of cool. So. <clears throat> Hi, I just want to thank you. I'm from Africa and honestly, it, it took me six months to apply your advice on how to open my Amazon store. I just want to thank you. You don't know what a great for favor you've done. This is why I do YouTube. This is why I do what I do. I'm always going to be sharing videos and inspiring people through my own journey. As I build successful e-commerce brands, I want to share that. I want to show you guys what's possible out there and I want to inspire you because life can be so good. It can be so good. And we all have challenges. You know, we all have challenges. They come and go, but there's a great book called the seasons of life by Jim Rohn. And in that book, Jim Rohn talks about how, um, basically sometimes we have a season, you know, where it's more quiet and it's a season to plant, or maybe it's a, a season, you know, with challenges. And sometimes, uh, basically, you know, there's a, other times there's a season where you, where you harvest what you've sown, where you really have just amazing, just amazing events that happen in your life and you're happy and everything's going well for you. And so that's life. Life is like cyclical, right? And it's never just, a, it's never just like a staircase, never linear, right? So anyway, guys, thank you so much for being on this uh, live today. I really appreciate you guys. Super grateful for you. Have an amazing Black Friday weekend. And if you're spending money this Black Friday, consider spending money on your own future, on your own, um, you know, investment in yourself. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. You guys have an incredible, incredible weekend and uh, stay positive, you know, be safe, enjoy your time with your family, make sure you read good books. Maybe I'll do that book club, Science of Getting Rich. That was my recommendation for today. First thing that I saw on the bookshelf. All right, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna do another live tomorrow at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern time. And for those of you joining Econ Freedom, make sure to introduce yourself and be saying hi to you in the Facebook group, personally. All right, guys. Thank you. The real money is in courses, not true, A eh, Belanger? The real money is in building an e-commerce brand because with courses, you can only do a few million a year, but with an e-commerce brand, if you have a good product, you can actually scale it to a hundred million. Look at Quest Bars, look at uh, Snow Teeth Whitening, look at any of those brands. If you have a good product, Mike's Hard Lemonade. I went to a winery uh, in Canada, a few, uh, 2020, I was on a motorcycle road trip. The guy who owned this beautiful winery, like insane winery, he, all he did was he started Mike's Hard Lemonade, which is uh, an alcoholic beverage, right? And it's just literally, um, it's just literally, what is it? Vodka and lemonade together, right? He started that, he started White Claw, he started a few different alcoholic beverages and he just, you know, got really good distribution, scaled them and he is a billionaire. You can't become a billionaire from courses, it's impossible, unless you're Tony Robbins. So no, 
Um, the real money is actually in e-commerce. The real money is in building successful brands. And you can ask anybody who's actually doing e-commerce, that's the truth. Of course, it's a good side gig. It was great for the first few years, but um, yeah, it's, it's not, uh, there's a cap. And I've already sur like reached that cap with, with, uh, with Econ Freedom for sure. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. Stay positive, be good, take action, work on your dreams. I wish you all the best. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow on the next live. Peace.